Hi, my name is Pascal. Today we are going to discuss which accessories you might want to get for your Rogue Rack. Now, if you want more detail than I can provide in this video on the topic, please check out the link in the description box below where I go through most of the Rogue accessories for racks in detail and compare them with each other. Now, what I personally think are the most important accessories to get for your Rogue Rack and you should include them on the first order are a pull-up bar, safety pins, storage pins and surprisingly some bands that you can actually attach to the rack itself. Now for the pull-up bar options I personally would recommend that if budget allows get the Krone pull-up bar. It is a bit pricey because it is almost as expensive as a barbell coming in at somewhere between 200 to 300 bucks and you will also need to buy an additional cross member to attach it to. However, it gives you so many different variations for the pull-up that it really is worth the money. Now, if you don't want to invest the extra money for a crown pull-up bar for your Rogue Rack, then stick with the socket straight bars. I personally got one of the curled ones, but to be honest, it is actually a bit of a nuisance and I only got it because the socket bars were not in stock at the time when I bought here in Europe. So for the pull-up bar, the high budget option that I would recommend would be the Krone pull-up bar. Otherwise, get a straight socket bar. You might want to add in a bit of color, but I personally think that's not really necessary because you can save some money there and put it towards bands. Now, when it comes to safeties, you can stick with the safety pins that are included with each rope rack that you are getting. The upgraded version are the flip down safeties, which I personally have because the safety pins were out of stock at the time when I bought. If you are considering the flip down safeties, which I think don't get you a lot of extra value um, unless you get the seat with them. So there is an option from Rogue where you can get a seat that attaches to the flip down safeties and then you actually get an additional bench within your home gym for relatively low cost which is highly adjustable. If you're not considering that seat and flip down safety combo because budget is not really an issue for you because otherwise you would go with the safety pins anyway then just stick with the safety pins. They're more than enough and they're great to use. An accessory that you can easily overlook when you make your purchase is storage pins. If your budget allows, I would personally recommend that you get six storage pins of the longer version so that you can get all of your plates on the rack. I personally only bought four and first I bought the short ones and then the long ones and I lived to regret it. I should have immediately bought only the long ones, not the short pins. And also I should have immediately bought six of them to get all of my plates on the rack. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, if you don't want to store your plates on your rack, mm -hmm. then don't invest in storage pins because that is just a redundancy and waste of money. Then go for some of the storage plate options mm -hmm. um, that can be wheeled around in your home gym or stored alongst the wall depending on what your preferences are. But if you want to store your plates on the rack, don't forget to throw the storage pins in right away when you purchase because that is really an item that you can easily overlook. The last thing I want to mention for accessory is to actually get a good set of rogue bands for as an attachment to your rack, which I also personally have overlooked on my first purchase. These bands give you just so many options in your home gym for stretching out, doing some light exercises, prehab, rehab, 
all the little things that you should do and we usually don't to keep yourself limber but also strengthen the areas that you just can't get to with a barbell. For a hundred bucks, maybe two hundred bucks, you can get a plethora of bands that opens up so many exercise options in your home gym. So maybe go a bit easy on things like landmines or other one purpose attachments to your rack to swap it in your basket for a big assortment of bands. Then you can really do a lot more stuff than just with a single purpose accessory. Now the last thing I want to comment on are the more expensive Rogue accessories to a rack. So that would be for example the Rogue Rhino or anything that costs more than a thousand bucks to add on to your Rogue rack. I think if you're in that bracket you're probably not that worried about budget for your entire gym anyway. But what I would like to point out is that for a budget of 1000 to 2000 extra, you can also get the lat pull from Rogue, which I think is just for most people a better investment than the Rhino hip belt. Of course, if you are a power lifter and if you do a lot of squats and already have back pain, then the Rhino is a very, very good investment. But that applies to a really, really small percentage of the population. I think a lot of other people would be better advised to put that money against the Rogue Monster Lat Tower or the CT1 that just recently came out. Now, that is the closing comment on the more expensive Rogue accessories. Just really think about that for that kind of money you can build an entire gym or get an attachment where you can get also more use out of maybe something cardio for example a versa climber um, or a very good rower thanks for watching please like subscribe and tell your friends about my channel hope this was helpful and see you soon around here bye bye